barnyard grass is a particularly difficult summer weeds because it has multiple germinations or cohorts. In our next story, we look at this hard to manage summer weed and the research being done to find the most effective control. We have 830 acres here. Um, basically we grow millet, wheat, chickpeas up in this country. Um, it's quite light, loamy sort of country, so the barnyard grass is quite a problem. In fact, barnyard grass is such a problem for Scott Gooley, he plans his cropping program around managing this summer weed. We try to plant millet two or three years and then we have to rotate back to winter crop and, you know, spray it through the summer then to try and get the grass populations down and then go back to millet again. Scott's experiences with barnyard grass typify the problems faced by many growers in the north. With scattered emergence and the ability to produce up to 20,000 seeds per plant, barnyard grass can become a huge problem. Barnyard can make a big impact on, on, on our crops, especially crops like sorghum where once it comes up with the crop, our control strategies are limited. Yeah, we can see here we've got some green seeds that are still maturing and uh, there's seeds that have already matured and they're falling off. So you can see there's a lot of seed on the ground here. While glyphosate has been the mainstay of modern weed eradication, herbicide-resistant populations are emerging, necessitating a rethink on control strategies. Weeds like barnyard grass certainly present a problem for growers, particularly in zero-till systems. But what can they do about it? What should growers be thinking about to tackle this issue? Well, the best way to think about it is probably to look at reducing the seed bank. So concentrate on that. And then also looking at not using just one herbicide option, not just using gloves, so trying to rotate when you get the opportunity. If there's an opportunity to perhaps do a strategic tillage to do that, if there's an opportunity to use another herbicide group or even a residual herbicide or something, do that. So not concentrate on one thing but just try and be more proactive rather than reactive. As well as rethinking control strategies, knowing when to act is just as important. Timing's really important for barnyard grass particularly because once it gets really big or if it gets stressed um, by moisture stress then it's much harder to kill. And the advice is to get in early while the weeds are very small. Barnyard grass comes up in a number of cohorts so if you wait to try and get more than one cohort with um, the single, a single application then you can find that the earlier plants are, are, are too big to control easily and you need to go up in your rates and start using um, other, other tactics to try and get some efficacy there. It's a strategy Scott uses, applying the maximum recommended rate of glyphosate soon after harvest to wipe out as many weeds as possible with the first dose. Once you don't kill it properly, that's when you start to get your resistance, so hit it hard the first time and kill it dead properly. Um, and as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. We've just about cleaned it up properly. So I said, you know, in, any sprays afterwards now will be back to the light rates um, so that we can try and save a bit of chemical. But what should growers do when glyphosate hasn't taken out the weeds, particularly if you suspect resistance? If you have sprayed glyphosate and they have survivors of that, it's very important to try and get out and um, control those. Um, the double knock is a method that we've that's been used as one way to do that. So applying glyphosate followed by paraquat, you know, within a week or so later. So the word from the experts is think long term and combine a number of strategies. But instead of being reactive and going, oh, there's the weed, I better control it, thinking, OK, well, I know I have this weed in my paddock. What can I do to reduce the seed bank over time and not just rely on the one thing so I'm um, promoting resistance? In the future, more tools may be available, with research planned which could add a helping hand. We're looking at um, seeing if, we, if it's feasible to eradicate patches um, and also to manage patches to prevent them spreading. And we're also wanting to have a bit of a look at perhaps sterilising the seeds. So if the plant gets past that optimum spraying time, is there something we can do spraying in the field so that it will reduce the viability of the seed so any seed that does form won't emerge later. In the meantime, growers are finding success by varying strategies and planning ahead. If you can stop it seeding, most grass weeds can be cleaned up in um, two or three years. If you keep at it regimented like that, yeah, you, can, you can get it down, that's for sure.